Hey guys, it's Pamela. I am going to, well first, I will show you, I think, one of my last couple of videos, I did these together. And um, I strategically, I'll use that word, placed the metallic on the canvas in different areas and then I poured the base coat. Stop it, Cleo. Gosh. Okay. Then I'm sorry. Then I poured the base coat on, my cats are fighting. Then I poured the base coat onto the metallics. Um, I'd have to watch the video again. I forgot exactly where I placed it. This one, nice thing about these pores is they dry nice and uh, flat. So if you don't like it, you can pour on it again. Um, this one kind of had a little squiggly, funky thing in it. And I used the Deco R24 karat gold in the eight ounce jar instead of the two ounce bottle. And it just, it mixed with the Mars Black, because that's the base I used, and it came out kind of dull. I think I'm gonna do a ring pour in it, swirl it around, and just keep like this side this, and the ring pour over here. I don't know. <laughs> and here's two pieces I resined. This was the Moon Pour. Um, it had Artist Loft Flow and Silver mixed into the Dirty Cup. And I think I did a, a ring pour in the middle because I've got these striations here and the little pits and silver kind of look like the moon. And that was like really, really funny because um, I wasn't going for that at all. And here is the dump and swirl video where I did two of them. This one came out better. Uh, I was mixing my, in both of these, I was mixing the metallics a little thinner with water instead of just one to one flow troll. So that's why they're not completely round, but I kind of like it. And this one I used a base coat with of red along with the black. And that's why you've got some of these pink in through here that mix with this, I think the silver or maybe some of the gold, but it created a pink. It was a crimson red that mixed with the base coat to create different colored cells. I thought that was kind of interesting. Okay, um, I haven't really done, uh, well yeah I have, I've done a ring pour. I think that moon pour was, was a ring pour, but I'm going to do that. I'm going to also strategically place the metallics down somewhere. Um, I'm also gonna put a little blue in my base. Here's the black Artist Loft base. Artist Loft Flow in black. Mixed one part paint, two part flow trawl. I went ahead and did my sides without adding water, but I'll add water in it before I do the pour. This is uh, Liquitex and Phalo Blue mixed uh, one part paint, two part flow trawl. I'll have to thin it out with water. Here's an Artist Loft Flow in a neon pink. This ugly pink that I just have in my stash that I'm not using for anything. I thought it would show up through the black. And then for the metallic, 24 karat gold in the two ounce bottle this time. A sapphire in the two ounce bottle. And a little bit of aqua green in the two ounce bottle. I already have those mixed up. And they're only one to one with flow troll, no water added. So, now that I'm out of breath, not really. Uh, oh, forgot one thing. This Golden GAC 800, I added a tablespoon to my, just to make it flow a little bit better. Uh, I didn't think it would make the cells wobbly because I didn't put it in the metallics. So, okay, I'll be back.
Okay, I poured half the black in the cup and I dumped from this up high the blue and the pink and down the side. Then I poured the rest of the black in the cup and then I just decided to do a straight pour. You can already see gold trying to come up, so that's a good indication. Got too many, too much stuff on my table. Okay, here we go. Okay, cells came out pretty good. I don't know if the gag made a difference in the base coat. Um, got a little pink over there, got a little purpley blue there where they mixed together. Got a little blue on this end because of the way I tilted. Where the glare is, because I know you love seeing that glare. Thanks for watching, guys.